Next question is from Eric Pepper. How long should a bulk and cut last? Oh, yeah. Here's a good rule of thumb. 27 days. With a bulk. <laughs> exactly. <Boom. laughs> Specifically. Exactly. Wouldn't it be great if that was it? Just <laughs> There's your answer. Yeah, yeah. 175 Simple. hours. No, um, here's a good rule of thumb that I used to go by with a bulk and a cut. If I'm bulking and my strength is going up and I'm adding mostly muscle, then I'd, so I would stay on it. The minute that I notice my weight's going up but my strength isn't going up, and I'm adding way more body fat or I'm not adding muscle anymore, I'm just gaining body fat, then I would switch out of it. And then with the cut, when my strength would really start to dive and I started to lose muscle, and this requires tracking, body fat tests and stuff like that. When I noticed that, uh-oh, I'm losing weight, but the weight I'm losing is muscle, then I would switch out of it. So that was kind of the the metric that I would use. So I like spending four to six weeks in the one that's more difficult for you and two weeks in the one that's easier for you. So if you're somebody who typically can put on weight fairly easy, then a bulk, I would only bulk them for a couple weeks and then spend more time in the cut four to six weeks. And if the opposite is true, then I would spend four to six weeks on the other direction and then cut for the two weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So depending on which one, and that's just, I mean, there's no there's no real science to support that that's superior than any way. That's just, just when you coach people. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. it's something that I've found over years have worked has worked well with myself and then people that I've coached. To, I mean, we talk about the benefits of, and, that, and there's plenty of research and science to support the benefits of moving in and out of cuts and bulks <clears throat> and not staying in either one of them for an extended period of time. So mm -hmm. I think the, the science is out on that. I think everybody agrees on that. But exactly how many weeks you should spend in each one, I think there's such a genetic variance and I think that doing spending more time in the one that is a little bit more challenging for you and then less time in the one that your body responds to faster has just made sense for me and has yeah. done well for clients that I've coached that way. I also like uh, for somebody who has, let's say, a lot of weight to lose, you know, let's say I want to lose 50 pounds, right? So that, that would be a long cut, but I, I would break up every three or four weeks, I'd break up that cut with... Yeah. Mm -hmm whatever you want to call it, a diet break or whatever, where I'd put them at a slight bulk or even just at maintenance. So like, okay, every right. four weeks, we're going to do four days where we bump your calories up and put or you the in the inverse of that too, right? If you're trying to gain. Yes. And it, it there's a couple benefits to that. Well, first off, studies show that it actually helps with the fat loss and reduces the, the muscle loss that can happen from going into a cut. But also psychologically, like even bulking, I know a lot of people cut a lot and trying to lose weight and they think, oh, I would love to be on a long bulk. I'm going to tell you, coming from a, you know, someone's an ectomorph, right? Being in a long bulk, psychologically at some point, you're just like, I don't want to eat. Like, I don't want to stuff my face anymore. This is like super tedious and I don't like this. So then if I did like a three day cut, it would like reinvigorate me and then I go back to the bulk and start to feel better. Uh, you know, when I would start eating more. And calories. I think that's the key takeaway from a question like this is because it, there isn't no there. And I, I jokingly said 27 days. And that the point of me joking about that was that there isn't like this specific yeah, there's no hard and fast rule. Is there it? isn't, there isn't, there's some, some basic uh, general rules as far as not staying in it for too long of a period of time. I think spending uh, two months, so eight weeks and beyond in, in, in any particular one with no break at all is not ideal. So if you are cutting, staying in a calorie deficit for eight weeks straight with no break is not ideal. Mm -hmm. I think the same thing for a bulk. If your goal is to bulk and you're eight weeks consistently and you've been bulking and you haven't had a break where you do a lower calorie day, I think that's not ideal. But everything in the middle of that, I think it's really about personal preference and then what you're most likely to stay consistent with and do. So I, I liked kind of doing the four two thing just because it was I was constantly breaking up whatever the client was doing in a month's time. They never were doing the same, you know, following the same meal plan or calorie plan for longer than a, a four week time. Yeah, I can and get, psychologically I, that yeah, works. Yeah. Psychologically I could convince anybody to like, all right, for the next thirty days, this is what we're gonna do. Just stay stick to the plan and then I'm gonna do this to you. And then mm -hmm. they okay, they have something to look forward to versus, oh, we're just gonna inevitably or we're gonna be in this bulk forever or cut forever.